Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Fortified and welcome to part one of my MAC makeup series. I've decided to make this series, I have made a lot of MAC videos in the past and so I wanted to kind of consolidate everything in various tranches, talking about foundations in the first part, makeup for warm skin tones in the second part and then makeup for cool skin tones in the third part. So it's just a way of giving you a little bit of clarity about the range if you are a little bit overwhelmed and you're not quite sure where to start. So why MAC you might ask? Well MAC is a brand that I have been reaching for for years and years. It really is a very consistent brand and by and large their quality is really good. Not everything is great but um, by and large as I say they are consistent and they're a kind of middle of the road brand and they are great for mature skins. And when I say middle of the road I mean that they're not as cheap as drugstore but they're also not right up there with your Dior's and Chanel's. So you can get a really great offering across the board with the MAC range. So today we're talking about foundations and I've got recommendations for oily skin, combination skin and dry skin. These are foundations that I have used and that I really love. So starting off with the first one is the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Now this comes in about 59 shades at the last count and this is really great I would say for oily or normal combination skins. I wouldn't recommend it for really dry skins but I do love this foundation personally. I find that it gives a really excellent medium to full coverage. It's great for concealing texture and it also has great oil control capabilities. So definitely one that I would recommend. And then a second foundation that I have been using is the Studio Fix Tech Cream to Powder Foundation and it comes in a little compact that looks like this. It does have a mirror and then it's got a cream in there. Now I would recommend this for normal to dry skins. I think if you're very oily you probably wouldn't enjoy this but again it's a beautiful foundation that just kind of dries down to a powder-like finish and it really gives you quite a flawless com complexion and this is the one that I'm wearing today. So I really do enjoy it even though I do have normal combination skin and I find it's a great one for when my skin is feeling a little bit dehydrated or just needs a little bit of a glow. So really do like their cream to powder finish. And then moving on to one of my all-time favorites and that is the MAC Face and Body. Now they recently launched with the Studio Radiance. I think it came out in 2021 and it's very very similar to the original although the formula has been tweaked very very slightly. But it really is a fantastic very very skin-like foundation and it's excellent for mature skins. And I have used it on my normal combination skin and I find that it works really well and I think for dry skin it would be absolutely beautiful and I have heard from women with dry skin that absolutely rave about it. So it really is a very skin-like light uh, coverage I would say. You can build it up to medium. It's not going to conceal all your imperfections but that is the beauty of it is it, it really kind of lets your skin show through. So it really does give you a beautiful kind of dewy effect and the new version gives you a little bit of radiance as well. So it really is absolutely gorgeous. You can powder it down slightly as well if you find that it is a little bit too radiant. Now a couple of other foundations that I've tried that I don't have with me. The one is their waterproof foundation which I really loved. It's a full coverage foundation and it does not budge and it wears really well throughout the day. But unfortunately, I believe from my, Mac cons my local MAC consultant, it is being discontinued. So not going to talk too much about that one, but that was one that I really, really enjoyed. And then the other day I went in store to try the powder foundation. Now, because of my normal combination skin and because it is summer here at the moment, I'm always looking for something that's going to mop up my excess oils that I'm going to be able to apply on the go and it looked like a dream come true. But I went in store, I tried it, I couldn't find an exact shade match, that was the first problem. And the second problem was that the shade that I was finally matched to, uh, the consistency was just very, very chalky, dry and cakey. Even with a little bit of Fix Plus spread over it, it just didn't... Uh, tick any boxes for me. So not sure that I can recommend that one. And then on to the subject of powders. They do have a blotting powder which comes in I think three shades. So if you do have 
normal uh, combination to oily skin, that would be a great uh, suggestion for just blotting down your oils a little bit and giving your uh, foundation a flawless, smooth uh, look at the outset. You can reapply it throughout the day as well. It is a really great one for controlling oils. And then if you have dry skin, I can recommend the Skin Finish. Now I have this one in the shade Medium Plus and it is a beautiful foundation. It gives a little bit of a glow to the skin. So it's not shiny, uh, it doesn't give you a dewy effect, but it just gives you a lovely kind of glow. It doesn't have huge oil controlling capabilities. So for people with oily or combination skin, it's probably not your best bet. I would go for the blotting powder first, but this one is a really just great all over alternative. So guys, that is my overview to MAC foundations. Let me know if you've tried any MAC foundations. Let me know if, which is your favorite. I am going to leave you with a link to my foundation playlist and there you will be able to find more in-depth reviews on each different foundation. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.